I love how when I finally get like ready to speak, interference comes. <sighs> it's weird to hear my voice right now because I haven't really been talking. I mean, I have, but I haven't really like heard myself speak. But today in class, well, I want to talk about my experience so far. This is day two of my yoga teacher training and my experience so far is I've been really 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 grateful and feeling really 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 grateful for the opportunity and the chance to be here and in class I was getting overwhelmed just by thinking of like the sacrifices that were made in order for me to be here in so many levels and in so many ways. And I I just think about like how much I don't show gratitude, even though I feel it. And how many times I've been shown love. And when I really think about it, like at a core level, how just how overwhelming it is and how pure it is and how beautiful it is and how somehow I can convince myself that I'm not worthy of it. And it's so dumb. It's so dumb and I do it all the time. And I just think of like how I don't just how I don't show gratitude and like how I don't how I don't show it like <laughs> it took me getting halfway around the world to to be grateful for the people in my life and for the situations in my life and it's just like mind blowing how I had to be removed from everyone and everything that I love to realize that and how ungrateful my actions are. <sighs> but I am grateful. I just don't show it. And it's a lot to unpack mentally. And I can get so down on myself, like even now, like in real in realizing how grateful, how how blessed I am to be here. I I can get down on myself like damn, but you you don't do this at home. It's like I if I'm just really, really blessed to be here. And I just feel like sometimes I wear a mask. All the time I wear a mask. I'm just very guarded. I'm a very, very, very guarded individual. And I know I wasn't always like that. <sighs> I literally have class in 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna be crying. But <laughs> I wasn't always like that. And it's just like when you get hurt so many times and not even. Like when you don't heal, you know, because we can be hurt. We can be hurt by other people, by ourselves. Like, I think that's just a like that's going to happen. You can't prevent hurt and pain. But when you don't heal it like I'm always like realizing like how deep it is <laughs> and how like 
And some of the pain that we're feeling isn't even ours. It's passed down generationally. Like, it's not even our pain, it's not even our hurt, but we feel it and we take it on. I'm just thinking so many things. I just feel like I need to release. <laughs> and I feel like, like the pain that I've had, it just has prevented me from opening up. And that's my biggest, like, issue. I don't open up. I don't, I don't open up at all. <laughs> and it's because I judge myself harder than anybody else would. <laughs> and I don't allow love to come in. But when I do, it's so overwhelming. It's like, oh, shit. Like, it's so overwhelming. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm crying. It's a lot of liquids. <laughs> it's a whole lot of liquids. I'm just really, really, truly from the bottom of my heart, grateful to be here. And I just want to carry this gratitude with me at all times for everything for everything for even the unfortunate things and for the things that scare me i just want to still be grateful <laughs> and i want to write and I, i'm gonna write down like what i'm grateful for and just be grateful for everything for everything <laughs> I was like, what sparked it? Like we were in class today and they just asked us, you know, what were you grateful for? And I and I said my husband because he paid for, um, you know, he paid for me being here. <laughs> and there's like sweat. <laughs> there's sweat going into my tears, this is gross. But um, I said him because he paid for me to be here. And like, I think of just like the sacrifices he's made through his job, like putting his body on the line. I think of the sacrifices my parents made, you know, to raise me and my sister. I think about it. I think about the sacrifices my grandparents have made. And their grandparents and just like generational like for me to be here right now for me and it's like I don't feel deserving I don't I don't and like I know I am oh this is like OD <laughs> I know I am it's just believing it and I just, I just want to take away being grateful for all the things that had to happen for me to be here in this moment. <laughs> to share this moment and, and all the things that had to align and all the sacrifices that had to be made. <laughs> and all the courage that it took to get to this point because I don't even give myself credit for that. Like, it's just a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit. But I'm grateful. And I'm done crying because <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<sighs> wow, I feel like I made myself cry. Like, I've been, like, holding that cry in for a while. I definitely have been holding that in. Whew. But I'm having a great time here. <laughs> I am. This is, like, a really great experience. And this is only day two. And the crazy thing is, is, like, I've been holding that cry in. And I could only cry, like, in my room by myself. I wanted to cry while well, I was crying like a little bit during one of our circles but I was like real real slick about it but it was just like an overwhelming joy of just being grateful <sighs> I guess the next topic is like being vulnerable maybe that's what I can learn next Oh yeah. <sighs> Gratitude. Gratitude. Mm. 